Did you see that Jordan Peterson clip about Bitcoin mining? No, what was it? There, uh, Jordan Peterson was on a podcast? Yeah, can we bring it up? Why wouldn't they just buy Bitcoin? It seems to be to be a lot simpler than mining it. Then if it costs $350,000 to make $350,000, why bother with the mining? But, you know, you said it, it rewards more efficient people. Exactly. The, the short answer is if you have a way of securing electricity at less than five cents per kilowatt hour, then um, you should get into Bitcoin mining business. Uh, which is, you know, lower than most rates everywhere in the world. So if you have a source of energy that is isolated then from the grid, or if you have a cheap way of securing energy, then Bitcoin is a great uh, way. Mining Bitcoin is great, but for the most... So does that mean that Bitcoin is a very good way of moving resources from places that can produce electricity very cheaply to other places where electricity is more expensive? Does that actually make the electricity, the cheap electricity, it makes the cheap electricity much more valuable? Absolutely. It's, uh, it, this is weird. That's a weird thing. It's, it's very weird. I think it's going to have a very profound impact on the global energy market because for the first time in history, we have hmm. a way to sell energy that is location independent. So a lot of places in the world have a lot of energy, but it's very expensive to get that to the population center. So the north of Canada has an... So you don't need wires. Exactly. Jesus, that's weird. That's a really strange thing. Yeah, to get electricity from the north of Ontario to Toronto really needs a lot of wires or you need to, you know, if it was gas, you need to put it on tankers or on trains or in pipelines. All of that stuff is pretty expensive. But with Bitcoin, you just need an internet connection. You take the Bitcoin miners to where that energy is and then you can monetize that energy and turn it into Bitcoin. Pa pause it here, pause it here. So the first part of that immediately jumps to my mind is that one, they're right, right? Like Safedine is explaining that you don't need to take Bitcoin off site. You don't need to actually move it. So you take the transportation cost down to zero and now you can actually sell it to the Bitcoin network right there on site, which drastically uh, drops the cost of your electricity, which makes you more profitable. And so that's a huge thing. We see this both happening in places like uh, Canada, but also if you go to somewhere, uh, including somewhere like Texas, and you see them actually going right to the wellheads, trying to capture flare gas, or you see them doing stuff on site with these oil and gas companies. Like this is going to be a huge business. This is going to be a massive boom to oil and gas and other types of electrical producers, whether it's hydro, et cetera. They're realizing I do not need to move the energy. I can simply right here monetize it. And actually, not only can I monetize it on site, which there's an advantage from a cost standpoint, but also what I'm selling it for ends up being way more profitable than anything else I could go do. So keep, keep playing it. What, what else is, are they saying here? Well, not only at a global subsidy, but it's so, it's so interesting because you could go to where the energy is cheap with virtual certainty that you're going to make more and more money as the value of the Bitcoin increases by, by investing there. Ass assuming you assume that the value of Bitcoin is going to continually increase, which is a logical presupposition if it's, if it's as stable as, as is claimed and it's finite in the way that you're describing and increasingly widely accepted by vast numbers of people. So it's also an investment that's likely to increase in value over time rather than decrease. So it takes some of the uncertainty out of investing in cheap electricity generating processes that are geographically isolated. That's, I just can't believe that's true. It's, it's amazing that I, 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 I think I must be misunderstanding because it seems like you can move the value of the electricity, electricity magically without any of the problems of transportation. Yes, exactly. Wow, that's really something. Like that idea that you can monetize energy production in 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 areas that wouldn't be able to ship the electricity to market. That's a, that's absolutely mind-boggling. It'll take me like 5 years to think that through. It's so and it seems to completely contradict the idea that Bitcoin is a waste of in, of of the world's resources, right? It's it's a, it's a, it's a complete opposite if that if this monetization idea is actually true. I mean, that is incredible. Like literally we're watching Jordan Peterson get orange pilled right in front of you, right? Is he starting to wake up to the idea of wait a second, not only is Bitcoin great from uh, prevention of the debasement of a currency, but also that you can change the way that we interact with energy. We can convert energy into global digital store of value, which is an incredibly, incredibly valuable thing. And so what you're watching right here in terms of uh, 
somebody being orange pill. This is somebody who's been around, right? This is not somebody who, uh, who who's just hearing about this for the first time. Uh, I think you're going to continue to watch this happen over and over and over again to people, both behind closed doors and out in uh, the public. And we're just going to see one by one, people are going to wake up to the fact that Bitcoin is good for business. That's true whether you're a large technology company in the publicly traded markets. That's true if you're an oil and gas business, or it's true if you're an individual that simply wants to protect your own personal balance sheet. And so that is why Bitcoin is beautiful.